The whole secrets to human history are actually hidden in plain sight. You could go back to BC before Christ, you could go to the Roman Empire, you can go to the Egyptian Empire, and you look around and they've never wanted us to know this information. They removed passages from the Bible, they've burned books, they've had hidden libraries, they've distorted science by focusing on the Newtonian model of physics where everything was physical, even though Albert Einstein disproved that with E equals MC squared, which showed us that energy and mass are so connected that they're in fact interchangeable. They're one in the same thing. Mass is a bunch of energy moving at a very high speed of vibration. So the whole secrets to human history are hidden in plain sight and they're very important right now. So my name is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. I'm wishing you an absolutely fantastic day. Go like this real quick. And then next, right there down below is my free success hypnosis. It's in the description and pinned to the comments right there down below. It's my free success hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious mind, eliminate old limiting belief systems that are blocking you from getting what you want in life. It's free, it's right there down below. So let's dive right into this video. So when I say that the whole of human history is hidden in plain sight, it truly is. So you may remember that famous statement, I think therefore I am, that was Rene Descartes. So Rene Descartes, what he did is, he was trying to figure out the universe, right? He's a mathematician and he couldn't figure out mind and energy. So he categorized it as separate from the physical world. Of course, totally untrue, but that's what he did and we believed it. Then Newton came along and Newton said that energy was a force that was exerted when you moved physical objects. Essentially, that's all it was. Totally wrong. Now, the funny thing is we know these things are totally incorrect, yet the mass consciousness still believes them. I think it's deliberate because if people wake up to the fact that energy and mass are one and the same, then they're no longer controlled by anything anymore. Albert Einstein comes along, he shows us E equals MC squared, which essentially says energy and mass are one in the same thing. There's no separation between them. Mass is energy moving at a very high speed of vibration. So what does this have to do with everything being hidden in plain sight? Because we're taught in our culture to seek refuge from everything outside of ourselves. We seek truth from everything outside of ourselves. Even though they've they burn books, they have secret libraries, they pull texts out of ancient out of ancient books. Yet we're conditioned to give up our own power and we give our truth away to every single thing outside of ourselves. And the list is endless. It's institutions, it's major corporations, it's thinking somebody else will save us, it's big pharma. The list goes on endlessly. We can make a whole entire book, just about every single thing that we give up our power away to. But think about this, really think about this. We know everything is energy. So quantum physics was birthed ultimately as a result of people understanding Einstein's discoveries of e equals mc squared. And what do we find in quantum physics? We find that every single thing in the universe, including this right here, is made up of 99.9999999% empty space. Your body is, my hands are, both my hands are, my teeth are. The phone or the computer you're watching on is actually a mass of molecules moving at a very high speed of vibration and 99% of it is pure empty space. There's nothing there. There's no thing. And this is what they call the holographic universe. The hologram means that every piece contains the whole. So if everything is empty space, what is this empty space? You can call it whatever you want. Alan Watts says you can't get wet by the word water. You can call it God, you can call it consciousness, you can call it spirit, you can call it anything that you want to call it. But every single piece is coming from one originating source of energy. So what does that tell you? You're just as divine as the preacher. You know just as much what's best for yourself as the expert. You already have all these answers I'm talking about deep within you. I'm just here to give you a little motivation, a little reminder. You already have it within you. 
That's why one of my favorite quotes is, I'm a genius and I apply my wisdom. It's a great affirmation. Start saying it. I'm a genius and I apply my wisdom. All of your entire destiny, every skill you need, every answer you need, it's encoded in every single cell of your body because every single cell of your body is God itself. There is no separation from you. But the way our world works is first, they convinced God was separate from us. Then they convinced us we weren't divine, only certain people that were a part of, that were certain preachers or certain institutions. Then ultimately, as they continued to try to push God out of the picture, they replaced, they replaced God. And they replaced it with cars, they replaced it with fear, they replaced it with a rat race, they replaced it with shiny stuff, they replaced it with sex, and they got us totally disoriented and distracted always looking outside of ourselves. The secret to regaining our power is to recognize that you already have everything you need to complete your mission here on earth. That you can achieve financially beyond your wildest imaginations. How couldn't you? That you could reclaim your own health, you could reclaim your own happiness, that you don't have to be dependent on the big institutions, the big government, the big pharma, that within ourselves we have all of these answers. The truth truly is hidden in plain sight and the reason it's hidden in plain sight is because this looks like a twig but it's actually 99% empty space, it's actually the God molecule, a non-physical God molecule and it's inside of you, every single cell of your entire body. But in order to find it, you have to let go of your fear and you have to ask yourself a question. What am I really capable of? Who could I really be if I wasn't afraid anymore? Who could I really be if I give up the idea I'm a physical body? You aren't a physical body. We know this for an absolute fact. All you are, start looking at yourself this way. You are just a mass of pure, unadulterated spirit energy that's vibrating. Your, it moves far beyond your body. This isn't the end of you. You extend far beyond here. You're just a, a field of energy that is vibrating in this fluid frequency field universe. Every thought, every, every uh, feeling, it's all sending out signals to the universe, but most people are sending signals out that say, yeah, I'm not that smart. I'm not good enough. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know, where's the experts? I don't know how. These are all illusions. Energy is never created or destroyed. If energy is never created or destroyed, this is what science tells us. Think about this. If energy is never created or destroyed, that means all the energy that ever was and ever will be is 100% evenly present in all places at all times. This is why they say ask and you'll receive. Because all the answers that you need are already here. And as we start to wake up from this, that's when the world will change. That's when the world will shift, but it starts with you and it starts today. So if you enjoyed this video, here's what I invite you to do. When this video ends, don't go to the next video. When this video ends, stop for a moment and contemplate on what I just said. This is profound. You could spend your whole life just studying the content that we described in this video. What is this telling you? It's telling you that every single thing is not only connected to everything else, but the kingdom of heaven is actually within you. You're not limited by anything. And I want you to stop and I want you to think about that. I want you to think about the fact that every single cell of your body is 99% empty space, that every single cell of your body is, is, is being projected by the light of God. You don't need to beg for this. It's already within you. You just have to, as William Blake said, once the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear as it was, infinite. So if you enjoyed today's episode, right there down below is my free success hypnosis. It's jakeshypnosis.com, right there down below in the description and pinned to the comments. It's my free success hypnosis to get rid of all those crappy belief systems we inherited from society. And when we do, our life changed drastically. The subconscious is unconscious. It was programmed by other people and it controls 95% of our life. But you can always reprogram it through repetition. So right there down below is my free success hypnosis. It will work wonders in your life. So make sure you hit the like button on this video to send it out to the YouTube universe. Give us a comment down below. Sometimes people say, I don't wanna leave a comment. You know, good video though. 
But when you hit the like button, you give us a comment right there down below that sends us out into the YouTube universe so more people see it. So many of the top channels on YouTube pay YouTube to pop up in the top of the algorithm. We don't do that. So if you think our work's important, hit the like button, give us a comment down below, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, and head out and check out one of my other videos right there down below on the side there or on the side right over there. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.